Hey yo, bueno, bueno, bueno. Today, I'm gonna show you how I price everything out for pergolas. Cause I was thinking about video ideas and I'm like, dang dude, I don't have anything about pergolas besides the program. I do have stuff in the program about pergolas, but I'm gonna share a little gold nuggets with you and I'm gonna share with you how I estimate pergolas, how much it costs, how much uh, labor, everything. What kind of materials you need, pay attention. The very first thing you need to do before installing any of the pavers, any sand, nothing. You gotta get these posts right here, six by six, and you gotta sink them. Now when you're at the lumber yard, don't be going to Home Depot. Do not go to Home Depot and buy lumber from there. It's gonna be different, it's not the same. And if you buy, a little pro tip for you, if you buy lumber from one place, get it from the same place for the entire pergola. I made that mistake where I'm like, okay, I'll get it from here and I'll go get the other one from there. Dude, it didn't look good at all. Like I had to return the wood, it was a big problem. So get the same redwood, get the same cedar from the same place. And this right here, you gotta make sure that it's surfaced, it's not rough. Because when little kids are running around and they're gonna be grinding their hands up all up on here, guess what? You're gonna have splinters, super pissed off customer, and you're just gonna have a kid that's pretty bummed out. So surfaced, 10 foot poles, two feet in the ground, eight feet up top. Now, the next thing is two by tens up top, these ones. So the entire pergola from post to post is eight feet from here to here. So it's an eight by eight. So you're always gonna wanna get two by tens or two by twelves that stick out one foot on this side and one foot on that side. If you have that, that is an ideal seam. Imagine if this was cut straight and it was just very square, it wouldn't look good, it'd look pretty ugly. So Get an extra foot. If you got a eight by eight, you're gonna get 10 foot. If you got a 12 by 12 pergola, you're gonna get 14 foot, two by tens, two by twelves, whatever you wanna do. In this particular case, they are two by tens. Now, after you get the six by six installed and you get the two by tens ready, you're gonna need to get half inch bolts, okay? Half inch bolts and they're 10 inch. So you're gonna have a washer on this side and a washer on the other side with a bolt going through it. And you're gonna wanna tighten it pretty good, pretty sturdy, so it doesn't wobble. Like this thing is pretty sturdy. I'm shaking it pretty hard and it's shaking a little bit, but compared to other pergolas that are just like on the ground, man, those things are wobble city. So we got that installed all the way through. And you'd be like, well T, this two by 10 is not surfaced what's up with that well it doesn't have to be you know it's got the rustic look and uh it just got a little more character so we don't really need to have smooth up there it looks good just leave it the way it is i like it but if you want smooth all the way then you get smooth big dog it's up to you six by six we got two two by twelves that are sandwiched onto the six by six with a half inch, 10 inch bolt going through it and tied off, right? And uh, next thing we gotta do is install the two by fours. Now the two by fours are also 10 feet long and they're going the opposite direction of the sun. Now before we started, I asked the homeowner, I'm like, hey, which way do you want these boards to run? And she said, like, well, I don't really know. And I'm like, well, where's the sun? Where is the sun? when you're hanging out here at nighttime. And she's like, when it, the sun is setting, it's coming from that direction. So we angled the boards the opposite direction of the sun. Because if we angled them this way, then the sun will fall through. But since they're this way, we're gonna get some good coverage and then she can have a little shade, cooking out in the barbecue, having a little fun, chilling, relaxing. And she's gonna be covered with some shade. So that is how you estimate for the pergola. And these boards right here, they are three inches apart. So here we got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to have about uh, four more pieces installed on top and that's going to be good. So around 24 because remember it's a 10 foot long section. So this looks clean and they're three inches apart. Now you'd be like, yo T, how much does it, all this stuff cost? Like, I've never really, because when I started, I'd be like, dude, I don't even know. How. I actually, I'll tell you a little story. I went inside the lumber yard, the same lumber yard that I bought this from, and I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, I want to build a pergola. And I remember it was eight by eight. And the guy literally wouldn't stop freaking out at me. He kept yelling at me. He's like, well, I don't know what you want to build. I'm like, I want to build a pergola. I have no idea what to buy. And he kept yelling at me, yelling at me. And then throughout the years, after I figured out how to do pergolas, I go back in there and like him and I would just laugh about it. I actually bought this wood from him and I'm like, dude, you kind of didn't help me. All you did was kind of yell at me. It was an older guy. No patience, man. Older, some, some old school people have no patience. They just think that everyone should come out the mother's womb knowing how to build pergolas. I don't know how to build pergolas, itch bay. Help my brother out. The six by six posts. Those are gonna be around three, four hundred piece, depending on your area. Okay? In this particular case, because I got a good deal on it, they were around 250. So I spent a thousand bucks on posts. The top wood, these, and the the screws, the bolts, that was around 750. So we're in around uh, 1750 bucks. And then plus concrete and all the other stuff. So around two grand. Okay. This pergola is around $3,500. That's how much I charge. So, you know, probably four or 500 bucks for labor. And uh, the rest is profit, which is a thousand bucks. Not that much, but I'll tell you what, this took literally probably eight hours to build. We got a little bit more, we got a few more pieces of wood to install and that's it. So is it incredible money? No, it's not incredible money. But you know, it's a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks to pay for stuff, to pay for materials, to pay for uh, expenses. A lot of expenses come up in business, man, I'm telling you. A lot of expenses come up in business. And if you don't figure out how to do this properly and how to make money, how to price everything out, you're gonna have a hard time sustaining through the entire cycle of business, through the ups and downs, recession, not recession. You need to figure it out. Like, like how much do you charge for grass? Do you have a set price per square foot? How much for pavers? Do you have a pr set price per square foot? How about plants? How much do you charge per plant? Per one gallon plant, per five gallon plant, for 24 gallon plant? Is everything systemized? Is everything organized? When the customer reads everything, do they understand? Can they duplicate what you are putting down on paper, in your proposals, in your estimates? That's important. And that's what the program is, man. I literally, I showed you how to build the pergola, but for everything else, I take your hand and I walk you through it. How I bid for pavers? How do I bid for plants? How do I bid for mulch? How do I bid for grass? How do I bid for all this stuff? If you don't figure it out, then you're gonna have a problem sustaining in business. I'm telling you, pay the price. Now I know there's, there's some landscaping groups and they're like, you know, I would never pay for someone to teach me how to do this. Dude, if you have that attitude going in business, you're gonna be in the game for about 20, 25 years, and you're gonna be like, man, dude, I really, really should have gone ahead and paid someone for a shortcut. Why do you think I go to these conferences? Why do you think I go to Grant Cardone? Why do you think I, I keep showing up? We just came back from Miami. This is my fifth boot camp. Isn't it insane? Fifth boot camp. I have I've only missed one. And I'm gonna keep going back. I'm going back to the October one. Every single time I go there, I get a little, little boost, a little expansion, a little, damn T, you're doing something right. Keep going. So now it's your turn, man. It's your turn. You got to do this. You got to figure it out. Get the program. It'll help you. I have never, ever had anyone say that that program was trash because I know it's not. I give you literally everything I know about writing contracts and reading plans in that program. Pavers, concrete, grass, plants, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. Don't be a dummy. 
You got to pay to play, homie.